Hi there, I'm Kathleen McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and welcome to Drawing with Littles. Well, my Artastic little friends, we have entered the winter and holiday season. So we're going to take a break from drawing through the letters and through the alphabet and we're going to draw some fun and fantastic seasonal and holiday themed drawings for the next few episodes. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing some Christmas art coming up in the next four episodes. This week, however, I'm going to be showing you how to draw this lovely snowman or snow person. Isn't that cute? So you can use whatever art mediums that you want to draw with and like all artists say, let's make some art. Alright, we're going to begin by drawing a snowman. So we're going to start off with one big circle and we can make it a little bit wobbly because snowman, well, they're a little bit wonky when we build them. So give it a nice circle. Below the head, we're going to draw a square. We're going to draw a line that comes down from the head and attaches to that square. We're going to draw two rectangles under the square and that will make our snowman scarf. We're going to draw two U-shapes on either side of the body. We're going to draw one straight line out on each U. We're going to bring it down and make a letter V at the top. And then we'll bring it down and connect it to the U. Next, we're going to connect the scarf to the arms. And then we're going to start from one branch and we're going to go all the way to the other branch and we're going to draw one big U shape. And then we're going to draw from this side to this side another big U shape to make a lovely snow person. On the face, in the very middle, we're going to draw one straight line. And then we're going to put a dot way over on this cheek. We're going to draw from the top of that line across to the dot. We're going to draw from the bottom of the line across to the dot. On the face, we're going to draw one eye nice and black with a little bit of white and on the other side one giant eye nice and black with another little bit of white. We're going to make a mouth with black circles all the way across and we can add buttons with black circles down the front and we can add snow with curving lines around snow person or snowman. And we're ready to color. Find a blue, any choice art medium, and we're going to shade with blue. Go along the bottom of the head with your blue. Along the bottom of the middle section with your blue and along the bottom of the third section with your blue. And we're also going to shade below the snow person or snowman with your blue as well. We can add blue under the scarf. 
and then we're done shading our snowman. Let's grab some brown and we're going to color in the branches brown. Color in your branches brown. Color in the carrot nose nice and orange. And you can of course color in your scarf with any color you would like. And I'm even going to leave a little bit of white at that top to make it look like it has some highlights. If you want, you can use a bit of gray to shade around the eyes and under the nose and along your branches. It's up to you, the artist. You can even use gray to draw circles around your background so it looks like it's snowing around your snowman. How cute is that? A lovely winter scene. And just like that, your snowman is done. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas. So comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.